What up, Laker Nation? Today I want to get into the NBA draft to prediction who I who I would like the Lakers to draft, what I think may happen. I definitely want you guys to chime in and, and give your opinion on who would y'all like the Lakers to draft. It's that time of the year, y'all. Let's get busy. Laker time, Laker Nation. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Nate. Nate, uh, he very in insightful. I definitely want to hear, hear what you got to say. Who you, I know it's early. We're like a month away. And I'm pretty sure my prediction and, and things gonna change some. But um, me and him both was dead on with Thomas Bryant. We both pretty much have the same, you know, way of thinking when it comes to the Lakers. So I definitely want to hear what you guys got to say. But um, first, first and foremost, I think with these two picks, I think the Lakers should draft a point guard in the center. I think those two positions they they should nail down and get like a, a point guard in the center. We pretty much set at all these other positions, but I guess if if it's a, a play you can't resist the you know the draft, I guess we go with that. But um, first, I'm gonna get to the point guard. So I like the Lakers to draft. I like the Lakers to draft. Um, not no order. I ain't doing no order. But like I said, it's still early. And I'm still doing my homework. But uh, I like Aaron Holiday. He penetrates. I think he'd be an excellent backup for Lonzo Ball. He's kind of small, but he's tough. He played pretty good defense. Um, if we was to get him, I'm pretty sure that would be the 25th pick. Uh, I like Trayvon DeVoe. I know a lot of people not hire him, but he athletic. I would, I would definitely like the Lakers to pick him if... You know, the first round depends who out there. But I like Trayvon. I think he'd also be a good um, backup to Lonzo. Um, Shake Milton, about six four and a half, six five, Good defender. Good outside shooter. You know, I would like for the Lakers to draft him. You know, first round, I'm a little, I don't know, I'm still doing my little research on him. I like Kyrie Thomas also. Six two six three guard long strong, he out of Creighton. Um, DeAnthony uh, Melton from uh, UC, um, USC. So those and also I like Javon Carter. Like, but at Javon Carter, I would like him more in the second round with the forty seventh pick. But he's a pit bull. I like him. He's tough. I definitely think he's gonna be in the league for a long time. So that's pretty much my um guys for the point guard position. As far as the center, ain't too many out there. That's why if my first choice would be Mitchell Robinson, if he's not there, like far as the first round, that that may be it. The only center I think I'll probably draft in the first round, Mitchell Robinson. But uh, I also like, um, I can't pronounce the name for shit, for USC, Chim Chimiez M M Medu, y'all know from USC, Ch Chim Chimiez Medu. Uh, I like him. Athletic. He got a nice touch around the basket. He long. He definitely fit this this NBA style of play. He'd be able to guard the pick and roll. He's a good shot blocker. You know, I would definitely like the Lakes to draft him also. Um, I kind of like Bruno Fernando too out of Maryland. Big physical guy. Um, pretty much like him also, but uh. That's why I, I pretty much think the Lakers won't draft probably a point guard in the first round because there's not too many centers, and I think Mitchell Robinson won't get drafted. And I don't think um, Metal is going to go in the first round, I think early second. But I also think the Lakers are going to make a trade. So my gut telling me, one thing about the Lakers, why I think if they like about five, six players, if they really like five, six players, I think they'll probably trade for a um, second round pick. Now I think it'd be hard. They got a couple of dollars, you know, a lot of teams have a lot of second round picks. Teams like Philly, um, they said they have a lot of second round picks. I, you know, I know the second round picks, the last time I think it cost like $2 million. But it may be a little less now, depending, because now the finances is getting a little tougher now. So you might get a second round pick for a million dollars. But, um, or, you know, the trade next year, second round pick for this year. You know how the things work. But I think the Lakers, if they like, like I said, about five, six players, 
really like and they think they get them, I think the Lakers will make the um trade and get the I also like outside the um the um point guard center position, I like Melvin Frazier. Very, very athletic, six 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 seven, long arms, jump out the gym. I like Chandler Hutchison also. And, and you know, wing players like them big tall wing players like six seven, six eight, things like that. I think you could use multiple of those, but guys who can play one position, if they not a point guard or a center, and they just a suit shooting guard or just a small forward, I don't think they they gonna pretty much work out. Also, um, I think I don't think Zubac could be back. I'm hearing from my source that he may get a mid level deal, like five million dollars. A couple of teams interested in him, so. Um, I don't think Zubac could be back with us. I think, like I said, I think he'll get a deal from around like five million. He showed enough, and I think, and I heard a couple of teams interested in him, so I don't think he'll be back. So we definitely need to fill that center position. So I definitely want to know what you guys think. Is I'm I'm looking forward to this draft. Uh, I just hope the Lakers do what they did last year. They, like I said, it was a lot of the guys they liked in that last year draft. Last year draft was deep. And they ended up with four four picks. They started out with two. And they ended up with four four. You know, for the DeAndre Russell trade and then they, the draft night trade with Utah. So um yeah, there's a few players like I said I like. And I definitely want you guys to uh comment and see who you like. We go back and forth real quick. But uh, you know, I'll definitely be back on some more of this draft and get a little closer. You know, I'm starting looking to some more guys a little more. But, um, yeah, you know, follow me, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification. You know, I'll be back strong. I'm, I got some real news I'm going to hit you guys with. You know, just stay tuned. Right now, I'm just warming up. You know, just throwing little jabs at y'all right now. But it's about to get crazy in a minute. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of NBA stuff behind the scenes I'm about to hit you guys with. So, um. Just follow me. I'll be doing a little more blogs a little more often um, leading up to the draft. Definitely a free agency. Peace.